the recent decision by the Gambia to rejoin the Commonwealth is ample testimony of my government's readiness to enhance international cooperation. To this end, I call on the Commonwealth family to stand by us, accompany us, and enhance its visibility through concrete action and the application of instruments that would build our human resource capacity, our infrastructure, and ensure the effective functioning of our institutions. I also call on the United Kingdom, with whom we have special historical ties, to continue to support us through enhanced trade, investment, and wider economic cooperation. We can only expect that, after a long spell of misrule and dictatorship, we overcome the Gambia's isolation from the international community and open a new page for renewed friendship with the kingdom and other friends. Our visit is an opportunity to celebrate the bonds of friendship between the United Kingdom and the Gambia, the myriad connections between our people and the many areas in which our two countries cooperate. We are friends and partners, and once again, we are both members of the Commonwealth Family of Nations, a fact which gives me as much pleasure and pride, as I know it does to so many of you. I was delighted to join Her Majesty the Queen in welcoming you, Mr. President, to London in April this year for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. And in so doing, to welcome all Gambians back into the Commonwealth. It was, if I may say so, an important milestone on the new road that the Gambia has chosen in turning your back on 22 years of autocratic rule in order to embrace a new beginning. Today, the United Kingdom and the Gambia can once again work together to defend our shared Commonwealth values and to promote democracy, human rights, tolerance and the rule of law.